for example, if we take a carrot from the from the earth, right, and we wash it with uh, just water, do the bacteria, for example, go away? Do they stay? How does that process work? It's mostly know? washed away. Yeah, there's always put it this way: there's always bacteria on foods because there's always bacteria everywhere. Like in every surface of your house, there's bacteria. It's all over us all the time. Uh, so, but what I'm saying is that the actual specific concentration of some of these microbiota are there based on how nature interacts with the food. So let's say it's a carrot. I mean, carrots grow underground. You only have the, um, you know, the, the, yeah, the leaves, yeah, the leaves, yeah, coming out the top that you pull them out by. But even in the soil, you have a lot of fungus and bacteria in the soil. So that comes by worms. It comes by, uh, well, the bacteria come from worms interaction with fungus, uh, you know, the, the rain, everything that's like insects around pooping all over the food and the, the soil and it goes into the ground, it's already on the food. So when yeah. we wash that off, we don't get rid of all bacteria, but what we do is we upset the natural balance that was inherently on that food. And so right. I'm not saying that you should avoid washing all of your stuff because most people don't grow their own. And you do need to wash it when it comes from either you, you don't know where it comes from, you don't know what chemicals could be on it, or it's been in a health food store or a grocery market or driven there by trucks. It's going to have petrochemicals on it. It might have cleaning chemicals on it because of what's been in a store. So yeah. if I get stuff from a store, I do wash it all the time. But what I'm, I'm just highlighting where bacteria naturally comes from and where we might be lacking getting bacteria from.